today in this video we will be climbing Stuck Unlocking today which is the second easiest Monroe in Scotland so this should be a fast one and then I'll be doing meal booty after but I think that will be it in a separate video because I'll try and see how fast I can run up it. So we're starting today's video by climbing the gate at Stucht and Lochan and this is in fact the second easiest Monroe route that is on the Watk Islands website. There might be easier ones at Glenshee like the Cairnwell or Carnoche but they're normally done as a three where this one is only done as a single Monroe. Today we did have 40 mile an hour winds and rain was pretty bad as well but it did clear up later on, it was coming in and out of sunny spells but we did get good views at the top. Stucht on Lochan can be done with meal booya. You just have to return to the same car park and then head up the other one so you can stop by it for like some lunch or something. But that's what I did and then in next week's video you'll see me try and run up meal booya and see how fast I was able to do it. Because normally I just enjoy walking like at a slow pace, just nice and relaxed and just enjoying the views. But I just thought for, for the easiest route, I just I may as well run up it to just see how fast I can I can complete it. When I looked at the weather and it blew up. When I looked at the weather this morning, I said it would just be cloudy. But now it's been really windy and it was raining quite a bit. It looks like the wind's gone away. Sorry, not the wind. The wind's definitely not gone away. It looks like the rain's gone away a bit. We are starting to get some blue skies now. But yeah, the views here are really nice. As you can tell from the clip, it was a very windy day. And the bog factor on this walk is a three, and I definitely agree with the three. It's, it's not too boggy, it's not nothing. So I, I'd say three's pretty accurate for the bog factor on this one. But you can see that the blue skies are coming in now and the walk was a lot more enjoyable. But once we finished the main ascent of the walk, we just got hurtled by so much wind walking over to the actual Munro. So this, this Munro and Meal Booty behind me, they're the two easiest Munros to climb in Scotland. So I am thinking that I'm going to just try my GoPro to my chest and try and run up it as fast as I can because it'll be the quickest one I'll be able to do so hopefully I can maybe do it in under an hour an hour and a half I'm not sure but yeah it's just you'll start, that's where we we'll park the car and just ignore me just now, that is not the route up to Menbuya it is the route, there is the Munro that's right behind me right now that's the actual uh, Munro, I, I didn't realise till I was halfway up the Munro that that was the actual Munro and not the other one I would obviously be faster if I just came here and then just did the meal booty straight away because I'll obviously be a lot more tired after doing this one and then having to do that one but yeah we'll see well we can concentrate on this one first get this one out of the way and then yeah, we'll see that one next week yeah these two monos are normally done uh, in the same day like I'm doing so for next week's video, I did just strap the GoPro to my chest and then I just ran up it. And I did speak all the way up it, but it was just inaudible because of the amount of wind that was up there. So you can barely hear it, so I'll probably just have to play music or something in the background. Yeah, apologies. Uh, I've just realised Mule Booty is that one over there. The, the other one's not even, I don't think it's tall enough to even be one of us getting mixed up. But now, then I had a good look at my map and I was like, oh, right, it was the wrong one I was looking at. So, yeah, it's that tall one over there, which obviously makes sense. And because that there was so much rain, you can see that lovely rainbow that was in the background that we basically saw the whole way up the walk. Yeah, this walk's going well. The, the sky is definitely brightening up now. So n not so much rain. And at least I know what my gnome doing next now. That'd have been a bit shit for start walking.
now just walking up to the summit of the first ridge or well, the first summit so then when we get to the top of here we should be able to see the actual Munro from the top another 50 meters. The views here are stunning. Nice loch down there. It's very windy at the top of this ridge. Yeah, very windy, so I don't know if it's just an extremely windy day today. Or if it's normally like this up here. Here, but yeah, the rocks here are really, really nice. Like... that we need to do to complete the Monroe. Too wet. But yes. So here's just where we came from. Round the bend here. All around there. I don't know if much of this is going to be audible because it's really windy. But yay! It took us exactly two hours to get to the top on the dot. So. I'll tell you how long it gets to the bottom and I'll see you at the bottom. So that's us back at the car, 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 back at the car. It took us a total of three hours and 43 minutes to do the whole thing. So it took us an hour and 43 minutes to come down and I may take a 20 minute rest and then I might go and see how fast I can get up meal booty. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.